what is going on guys mad space here welcome back to another video once again talking about how good characters are but we are not looking at tier list today we're actually going to be looking at a matchup chart uh which i guess if you looking at if you're looking at matchup charts that kind of determines where a character places in the meta so i guess by extension we are talking about tier list but that is neither here or there so Anyway, let's get along with some context here. So, uh, we have this player's matchup chart, Japanese player Huto, which if you don't know who Huto is, I don't blame you. Uh, I didn't know who he was until I think it was Congo Saga where he teamed with Gact and they didn't even really place that well. And then I kind of forgot about him, but then his name popped up again because he put out some matchup charts. Now, he plays a couple of characters. Um, I think his best character is Wario, but he also plays some Falcon and King K. Rule. And so he put matchup charts for all three characters. But the matchup chart we are going to be looking at actually is the matchup chart for Captain Falcon. Now, I'm going to pull this up and it just first of all, um, I just want to look at the bottom really quick. I think it's really strange. I, I'm not trying to gatekeep here or anything like that, but if you're going to put a matchup chart out for a specific character, I think you should have at least an idea of how that character does against every single other character in the game. So the fact that he has, how many is this? 10 characters that he doesn't know how Falcon fares. Which I guess is, it's, maybe he just doesn't have matchup experience against them, which that's fine. But you have to have at least an opinion, right? So I think that was weird first and foremost. But anyway, one thing right away that is just screaming at me is that this guy is claiming that Falcon loses only three matchups, which is absolutely insane to me. How does Falcon only lose three matchups, right? So, and it's fine. I'm sure there's characters in the game that potentially don't lose that many matchups at all, right? But when you talk about a character that doesn't lose that many matchups, Let's just talk about Steve, for example, or or uh, Pyra and Mithra. Um, you're talking about some of the best characters in the game, the best. And I think most people have Captain Falcon around high tier. He has a lot of really good tools for the meta, a lot of you know good speed, damage output. Um, but to claim he only has three bad matchups is really really weird so um like for example like if you want to tell me he loses to Sheik, sure i can get that losing to wario sure even to pokemon trainer sure yeah i i can get with all that but how how do you have even matchups against characters like let's say um disjoints falcon definitely would struggle with disjoints so to be even with lucina Crom, roy uh, is a little bit weird to me to have winning matchups against someone that can keep up with him like Cloud, someone that can uh, keep him away like Sephiroth, someone that can mix him up crazy like Sora, even though maybe Sora is not like a losing matchup for Falcon, but Sora has some stuff against Falcon for sure, especially edge guarding. Um, let's see what else. Uh, I think Falcon is tough. I mean, I think Falco is tough for Captain Falcon. And, uh, I mean, and all these other ones are fine. I mean, beating the heavies down pretty badly. Yeah, it's fair enough. Um, you know, to, to not have an idea on Marth, but then put, like, the other Fire Emblem characters here is kind of strange. I don't know. It's just how I feel. Um, I feel like, again, you know, Game & Watch, Zero Suit, um... You know, his advantage against Snake, I guess, would be pretty good. So maybe Snake maybe Snake is even. I can I can see that. But I feel like Diddy would be tough. I feel like Toon Link, even though Toon Link overall is not that good of a character, 
could potentially be tough. Palutena, edge guarding, uh, could be tough. Neutral against uh, Steve would be really tough. Being able to hit characters like Inkling or Greninja in general would be really tough. So I don't know where even where even is Greninja on this matchup chart. Does he even have every character on here? Where's Greninja? Hold on, I'm looking I'm looking for Greninja really quick. I'm just like looking for blue. I don't see Greninja, bro. One, two. Does he even Oh, okay, he has Greninja as even. Yeah, I don't even know about that. And again, I just want to say I'm not a top player or anything, you know. This guy, he's he's a top 50 player in Japan, which is nothing to sneeze at. That means he's absolutely amazing at the game. And my opinion compared to his potentially is just nothing, you know. But I have a hard time believing. Like, like all those matchups, if you disagree with me, that's fine. But I think one thing that we can all agree on, that Falcon does not lose only three matchups, okay. He has, he's very, very fast. A very good advantage state, very good combo game. He has kill confirms and all that. I get it. But his disadvantage, it plays kind of like a heavy. Especially since he doesn't have a counter. You know, it plays like a heavy. He's a fast follow. He gets comboed. He gets edge guarded. His recovery really isn't that good. It goes far, but it's linear. So, so many of these characters can edge guard him for free. They can combo him for free. He gets hit by every single kill confirm in the game, pretty much. Um, he gets spaced out. Uh, and he, you, you know, there's some characters that can box with him, like Fox. You know, uh, maybe even Sonic could be tough for him because Sonic can keep up. And Kazuya, eh, I could see Kazuya being winning, I guess. If you just, it's just like a touch of death for both. That's a very volatile matchup if I'm thinking about it correctly. So, I don't know. This matchup chart suggests that Falcon is like top 5 in the game. And I just don't think that's the case. But anyway, that's all I got for this video. Uh, let me know what you guys think. How good is Falcon? Is Falcon a top tier character? I think he's high tier. I don't think he's in the top echelon of characters. But I definitely think he's good. But this good? I'm not sure. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video drop a like and subscribe let me know your opinions in the comments and i will see you guys next time peace